Hello children I hope you are all healthy and safe Welcome to this special English hour Here every day we will sing dance listen to stories and have lots of fun together Are you ready to have fun Okay then please stand up and join me in a dance Bachcho apne TV ke samne khade ho jaiye aur mere sath ek dance mein जुड़ जाइए No no Peter 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 here it comes everywhere we go let's chop 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 children now i would like to ask you a few questions please let us share our thoughts and ideas bachcho ab main aapse kuch sawal puchna chahungi children if you look around you can you tell me what are the natural things that you see bachcho agar aap apne aas paas dekh rahe hain to kya aap mujhe bata sakte hain ki aap प्राकृतिक कौन सी चीजें देख रहे हैं वी कैन सी ट्रीज प्लांट्स अ फ्यू एनिमल्स लाइक कैट्स एंड डॉग्स बर्ड्स एंड क्लाउड्स सम ऑफ यू मे ऑल्सो बी एबल टू सी हिल्स एंड माउंटेन्स एंड ऑल्सो रिवर्स ओके children all this natural beauty is not just on land it is also under water children have any of you seen what the creatures under water look like bachcho kya aapne kabhi pani ki satah ke niche rehne wale jeev jantu aur janwaron ke bare mein jana hai There is a whole living world under water. There are plants and various creatures. Some creatures are so small that you can't even see them, while others are very big. Children, would you like to know more about sea creatures? Then come, let's learn about them today. Children, while learning a language. it is very important that we keep learning new words now i would like to share with you a few new words please listen to me carefully and note them down in your notebook we will come across these words in the lesson we'll be reading today bachcho ab main aap se kuch naye shabd share karne wali hu please inhe gaur se sune aur apni notebook mein note kare The first word is ocean 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 The second word is strange strange st 
strange. The third word is creatures, creatures, creatures. The fourth word is valley, valley, valley. The fifth word is trenches, trenches, trenches. Children, let me repeat the words once again for you. Ocean, strange, creatures, valley, trenches. Children, please look out for these words as we are reading the lesson and try to guess their meaning. Children, we will be reading a very interesting lesson now. The title of the lesson is At the Bottom of the Ocean. If you have a textbook, please open to page number 72 and point to the words as I read. If you don't have a textbook, please see your TV screens and listen to me carefully. But if you have a textbook, so please page number 72 khole aur kuch is tarike se apni ungli shabdo par rakhe jab main unhe pad rahi hu agar aapke paas textbook nahi hai to please meri awaaz gaur se sune aur tv screen ki or dekhe at the bottom of the ocean what is there under the sea the sea is very deep there are many plants and animals in the sea. Some of them are very small. We cannot see them with our eyes. There are fishes, turtles and many strange and beautiful animals in the sea. The largest of all animals is the blue whale. It lives in the sea. Children, the sea is very wide and very deep. There are lots of strange creatures that live under water. There are many plants and many animals. Some creatures are so small that you can't even see them. While some creatures are also very big. The biggest sea creature is the blue whale. There are many different types of plants in the sea. In some places there are so many that it is like an underwater forest. There are many different types of plants found under the sea. It's almost like an underwater forest. A very big sea is called an ocean. If we go deep down in the ocean, there is no sunlight. It is dark and quiet. The bottom of the ocean is known as ocean floor. The ocean floor is not flat, just as we see mountains and valleys and plains on land. There are mountains and plains and also deep trenches in the ocean floor. When the top of such a mountain rises out of ocean water, it forms an island. You can see these things in the picture below. A very big sea is called an ocean. Oceans are wide and deep. It's very quiet down there. The bottom of the ocean is known as the ocean floor. The ocean floor has mountains, valleys, plains and also trenches. That is, there is a gap in the land space. 
just like we have mountains, valleys and plains above the water, there are also mountains, valleys and plains below the water. When a mountain rises above the water level, it forms an island, a piece of land that is surrounded by water on all four sides. Children, this is what the ocean floor looks like. This is land. This is the ocean. This is the ocean water. This is a mountain in the ocean. And its tip is called an island. These are deep trenches in the ocean floor. These are plains. Children, let's do an interesting activity now. You will see two images on your screen. One image will be of creatures and the second image will be of plants. What you need to do is see both the images and identify which are the creatures that live on land and which are the creatures that live under water. In the same way, you have to identify which are the plants that grow above the earth and which are the plants that grow below the water. Children, would you like to give this a try? Then come, let's begin. Bacho, ab hum ek activity karenge. Is activity mein aapko do tasveere screen par dikhai jayengi. Pehli tasveer mein janwar dikhai jayenge. In mein se kuch aise janwar hai, joh zameen ke oopar rehte hai. Aur kuch aise janwar, joh paani ke niche rehte hai. Paudho ki tasveer bhi dikhai jayegi. इन में से कुछ पौधे ऐसे हैं जो जमीन की सतह के ऊपर उगते हैं और कुछ पौधे जो पानी के नीचे उगते हैं आपको उन्हें पहचानना है कि ऐसे कौन से जानवर और पौधे हैं जो पानी के नीचे उगते हैं रहते हैं और ऐसे कौन से जानवर और पौधे हैं जो जमीन के ऊपर उगते हैं और रहते हैं चिल्ड्रेन लेट्स गिव दिस एक्सरसाइज अ ट्राई Children, I hope you were able to identify which plants and animals live underwater and which plants and animals live above the soil. Come, let's have a look at the answers. This is a jellyfish. This is a seahorse. This is an octopus and this is a whale. They are all sea creatures. They live under water. This is a coral reef. This is a kelp. This is red algae. These are underwater sea plants. This is a panda. These animals live on land. This is a bamboo plant. This is a palm tree. These are ferns. They all grow on land. Children, I hope you found this activity interesting. 
children i hope you all enjoyed today's session it's now time to sit back and relax while i tell you a wonderful story bachcho aaiye ab ek kahani sunte hain children there are beautiful and colorful creatures and plants under the sea would you like to take a dive under the sea then come today let me take you for a dive children today we'll be reading the story dive by rajiv aipe in a little boat hoping for a big adventure when we reached the diving site we checked all our equipment properly and then we wore our fins and mask once we were ready we took a dive into the water as soon as we reached under water a school of yellow back fusiliers greeted us there were so many different creatures to see around this large table coral oriental sweet lips parrot fish bat fish and even a beautifully patterned nudie branch a long trumpet fish changes its color to blend in with a school of yellow tang but you can easily make out that the fish is different It's a good thing that we keep a safe distance from the lion fish because the spines on its back can be quite poisonous. The clown fish carefully guarded their sea anemone home but then allowed the divers to at least take a few pictures we then saw a honeycomb more eel getting its teeth cleaned with cleaner rashes they also offered to give us a scrub said the divers We saw a trigger fish and sea urchins. We also saw a coral grouper and a reef octopus playing hide and seek. The octopus won the game of hide and seek. They are great at disguise. They can hide themselves easily or blend in with their background the two pipe fish also blend themselves in their background are you able to spot them in the picture come let's see we saw a couple of white tip reef sharks resting at the bottom since they are harmless we swam in for a closer look we then saw a hawk's bill turtle and followed it a bit the hawk's bill turtle was looking around the reef for a sea sponge to lunch on
As the divers made their way back to the boat, they came across a manta ray flying with two remora fishes by its side. Then we saw a dugong grazing on some sea grass. What an incredible experience! I can't wait to go for diving again. Corals are both plants and animals. Thousands of little algae live inside corals and give them energy to grow. They have hard outer skeletons and grow into many different shapes. Plankton is the main source of food for many sea creatures. They are a mix of algae, bacteria, tiny animals and the eggs and larvae of large animals that float about with the ocean currents. Feather stars may look like plants but they're really animals. They use their feather-like arms to catch and eat bits of floating plankton. Parrotfish have strong teeth that form a parrot-like beak, which they use to scrape algae off hard coral. Some species don't mind eating bits of coral as well and they later poop out a fine sand that washes up on land to form beautiful white beaches. Clownfish and sea anemones live together and help each other. The clownfish help the anemones by cleaning their tentacles and luring other fish for the anemone to eat. The anemones in turn allow the clownfish to hide among their poisonous tentacles without stinging them. Cleaner wrasses are small fish that keep bigger fish clean by feeding on their parasites and dead skin. The bigger fish recognize the wrasses by their colors and the dance like way they move. The reef octopus can hide by changing its color and texture. It makes its home in holes in the reef or buries itself in the sand. Ghost pipefish can be found in pairs, floating with their heads down and hidden among sea grass, corals or feather stars. Like the reef octopus, they can change color to blend in perfectly. The white tip reef shark has a thin body, broad head and white tips on its dorsal and tail fin. They hunt at night and sleep through most of the day. The hawksbill turtle has a flat body, a shell with jagged edges and a sharp curving mouth that looks like a hawk's beak. Manta rays are huge fish with wing-like fins on the sides of their bodies. These large fins help them swim gracefully through the water. On some manta rays, the distance from one wing tip to the other can reach up to 23 feet. The dugong is a vegetarian marine mammal. Its favorite food is a seagrass which it is able to graze on with its specially shaped snout. 
dugongs are also called sea cows. Children, I hope you enjoyed this story and learnt a lot from it about sea creatures and sea plants. Children, I hope you all enjoyed today's session. I would now request you all to please share this story with your friends and family. Children, till we meet next time, please take care. Bye bye and stay safe.